Hey everybody, what's up? It's Devin LaVore coming at you. <laughs> you know, I got saved back in, I don't know when, uh, maybe August, somewhere in there of, uh, of 1994. And I think for me, the most impactful thing about me praying the prayer of salvation was the reality of the presence of God that hit me so heavily when I was sitting in that car in that empty food city parking lot. It was the strongest, most real thing I'd ever felt in my life. And it propelled me into reading my Bible. It propelled me into going to church. It propelled me into doing anything and everything I could to find out who this Jesus was because he made himself known to me real in a real way you know it wasn't a theological agreement with him now let me tell you something that was the foundation of my relationship with God it was real you know he brought me out of a time of such tremendous desperation and great deep darkness that like no one could no friend no family member no one could help me no drug because i was on him at the time hello and uh <laughs> nothing could bring me out and when i prayed that prayer of salvation god became so real to me in that moment he revealed himself in a way that you just you can't transmit to that experience even talking to someone through a video, through a book, through anything. You can just share your story, share your testimony, you know. So it's like, and from, from that point on, that was the platform, the reality of the, the reality of God. The reality of who he is is what propelled me these past almost 23 years is that God is real. I mean, just yesterday, again, God shows himself real to me. I mean, I, I, I have no questions about the reality of God. I have a relationship with God, and we've been like best buds for 23 years. Now, I've had ups and downs and highs and lows and all that stuff and disappointments and all that. All the things that kids do when they're born and then they grow up, you know? <laughs> you go through life even with God, you know? But... I, one thing I have never done is strayed away from God because the simple fact is it's not me just tooting my horn or anything, but it's just that God is real. How can I, how can I say he's not real when he came into my life and has stayed with me? It's not like he came into my life once like a celebrity and signed a paper and then went off and lived their life. And I was, wow, I had this meeting with this celebrity. Whoa. No, that's not what it's like. God came into my life and he stayed. And he's been with me now for 20 some years. And the cool thing is, which I'll probably get into in, in another video, is like God showed me he's been with me my whole life. He's just waiting. He waited 22 and a half years for me to recognize him and see him and say yes to him. He's showed me that he had been helping me all that time, trying, but it's just like, anyway, we can get into lost in the theological weeds there. But it's like, man, so I, for me, though I might stumble through some of my teachings, I know a lot of my videos are super long, but the whole point of me sharing, the whole point of my YouTube channel, the whole point of all of my novels, guys, is to show the reality of who God is and how awesome he really is. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you would allow God to show you how real he is in your life today. You may think he is not there and he doesn't care or whatever it is you think, but I am telling you, he is very real, very real, and his love for you is super real. Why? Because God is love. He's not just a loving person. He is love. He is the embodiment of love. Everything that there is in this world that is love, it is him. You know, not some social justice warrior love. That's not love. I'm talking about real, bona fide, I will die for you because I want to kind of love. Okay? Because I love you that much. I'm so into you that much. And you need to know it through all the blurriness and darkness of this world. Through all the craziness and anxiety and depression and all the mess that we go through in our souls. 
He's above all that and he's trying to draw you up into his world so that you can see him. And when you see him, you'll see the truth. And when you see the truth, you'll see who you are. And when you see who you are, you'll see the great value that he's placed on you so much so that he that he became a man and went through all that he went through and died for you. OK, <laughs> so allow God to prove himself to you today um, and ask him, say, whatever your condition, even if you're like, I dare you to prove yourself to me. You ain't going to do it. Go ahead. I dare you. Whatever. However you want to do it, you know, where, wherever you're at in life, you know. Even if you have a great relationship with God already, you can just say, God, reveal yourself to me today. So I hope this has been a blessing to you guys. And I do. I just pray that God's abundant blessing of his presence and who he really is and the light of his truth would just brighten your day to be cliche. I'm out. <laughs>